This is going through the first four challenge questions of the Trigonometry Soccer Tour work you did last week. Okay, so we're told that we have this isosceles triangle. So we know that means that the angles at the bottom are going to be equal, as well as these two sides. M is the midpoint, so it's symmetrical, of BC. We've got to work out angle BCA. Let's just trace out B. A. All right, so I'm just going to make sure that's clear. So we want this angle down here. Right, um, give your answer to three significant figures. Right, well, we know by symmetry that one side, each side of M, is going to be 4.5 centimetres. Okay, and so hopefully we can see that we have got... Um, a nice right angle triangle, so I'm going to just sketch that. Okay, we want this angle at the bottom, so we're going to call that x. We know that the hypotenuse is 14, and we know that this side is 4.5. So first of all, we're going to label this triangle with opposite adjacent hypotenuse. So hypotenuse is the longest side, and the opposite one opposite the angle that we've labelled, which is angle x. And the adjacent side is the one next to the angle. Okay, we have got information on the adjacent side and on the hypotenuse. So if we remember Socrator, we want the one of those that is using adjacent hypotenuse. So that is cos. So let's write down um, what cos is. So cosine of our angle is x is equal equal to the adjacent side over the hypotenuse. So if we want to find out what the angle is, we need to get rid of the cos. So we inverse cos both sides. So if we inverse cos cos, we just get back to x. So we're going to do inverse cos of 4.5 over 14. And you just do that on your calculator. So. Okay, and I get 71.3 degrees. We wanted three significant figures, so 71.25, and it carries on. So to three significant figures, that's 71.3. Okay, let's try the next question. Okay, so this time we have a parallelogram. We need to work out the area of the parallelogram. So remembering that we do area is equal to the base times the perpendicular height. Okay, so we want to have the perpendicular height, which we don't have at the moment. So let's see if we can figure out what to do. We could cut off down from A and we get a nice little right angle triangle. We don't know how wide the base is, but we do know the hypotenuse. Let's just sketch that out. Okay, so we know that the hypotenuse there is five centimeters and we know the angle is 62 degrees. And what do we need? We need this height. So let's label that with opposite, adjacent, and hypotenuse. Hypotenuse is the longest side, okay, which is opposite the right angle. Opposite the angle, we have the height. And adjacent to the angle, we've got nothing. So we have information on the hypotenuse and on the opposite side. So let's just remember, so by looking for something with O and H. Okay, which is sine. So now we can write our equation down for sine. So sine of the angle is equal to the opposite side over the hypotenuse side. And we solve that equation. So we want to get h on its own. We multiply both sides by 5. And then we simply type it on the calculator. And I get 
five. So I'm keeping lots of decimal places so I don't get rounding error. And finally, we can answer the question. So the area is going to be seven times four point four one five, which will give us thirty point nine. centimeters squared. Okay, next one. Okay, this time we don't have to hunt for a right angle triangle. It's right in front of our noses. The diagram shows a swimming course set out on a lake. Angle BC is 90 degrees. C is due north of A. Calculate the bearing of B from A. Now remember the from is the important bit, so we're going to measure the angle at A. And bearings always go clockwise from north. So let's just see. So we're at A. There's our north line. Oops, a bit wobbly. And the angle that we're after is going to be this one here. Okay. Right. Now, what we can do is we can find instead the angle inside the right angle triangle, okay, and then take away from 360. Okay, so let's start labeling. So we want some opposite adjacent hypotenuse. Okay, so hypotenuse, opposite the right angle, longer side. Okay, opposite the angle is going to be over here. Adjacent to, touching the angle, is going to be here. And the thing we're interested in is actually the angle, isn't it? So let me just call that theta. So let's just see what information have we, uh, which sides we've got information on. We've got something on the hypotenuse and something on the opposite side. So if we jot down Socrates. Okay, so opposite and hypotenuse we're interested in. So that is going to be sine. So let's write down the equation for sine. So sine of the angle would be this. Is the opposite side going to be over the hypotenuse side, 145. So if we want this angle, we have to get rid of sine. So we're going to do inverse sine. Okay, that's 80 over 145. So you type that on your calculator and see what you get. So I've got 33.5 degrees for that. So if I want my bearing, I'm going to do 360 minus that 33.5. So that's going to be 326.5. So 327 degrees rounds to. It's three digits, so that's fine. Okay, last question in this little set. Um, a cone has vertex V, so that's the one right at the top, right above the centre. C is the centre of the base. The slant height is given as 20, and the angle between VA and VC is 38 degrees. So I'm going to mark that in, 38 degrees. Right. Work out the radius of the base, so I'm going to put a nice R for the radius. And hopefully you can see immediately we have a lovely right angle triangle there. Let's label with opposite adjacent hypotenuse. Hypotenuse longer side opposite the right angle. Okay, opposite the angles down here and adjacent to the angles on the left. Okay, now we have got information on the hypotenuse. We have got an information on the opposite side. So again, we jot down soccer to O and H sine. So we're going to write down the equation. So sine of the angle is equal to the opposite side over the hypotenuse side. Okay, so to get the radius on its own, we just need to multiply both sides by 20. And then type it on the calculator.
and that was 12.3 centimetres.